this is hydrogen tap finally it's time to restart working on the pulse system what you're looking at here is the base to the unit that I'll be working with it's made of two half inch pieces of plastic and you can see how the bolt goes in on the bottom so it's flat piece in the middle is the section that's going to be holding the two plates. This will be a two plate system. I started this project before and had to stop because I wasn't satisfied in the data that was out there. Now I'm ready to restart it. This unit is made in image of the HLR1000. The way it's put together, as you'll see, has two seals, one on the top and one on the bottom. make all my test equipment that way so I can easily change the parts. You can see how it fits in together. There's less than an eighth of an inch between those two plates. I've made it so I can add it, add more later. I can add plates to the other side as well. This is a real sturdy unit. The construction is my own design. You can see it'll be clear so I can see exactly what's going on. This is just the second half of the pulse system I'll be working on. The electronics half, I'm going to restart, make a few changes, and I'll be showing or publishing all my work from here on on the pulse system. You can see the way it's connected the same way the 3LR1000 is connected. Although I'm going to make some changes with that because I keep having to take the top off. One of the things I had to do was cut the rods, as you can see here. They were too long. I was going to use them long, but it was too hard to get the tops off and on. The top does not or has holes in it right now. I'm not really worried about that. The main thing I'm going to be doing here is to set the system. I want to test this unit out to make sure that it's putting out enough hydrogen the way it is before I start working with the pulse system. And as you can see, I've run into a problem. The bottom of the unit does not seal. That's because I could not cut the plastic well enough to make it. So it'll make a decent seal. looks good but it's just not smooth enough to make a seal also it's not straight enough to make a seal it, it looks to the eye it is but it's just not what I've decided to do here is to coat it with a rubber cement 
I'm going to put the coating on the bottom of that and on the top of the plastic as you can see it doesn't look pretty but when that dries hopefully it will help the seal this is a liquid gasket sealant if I could have had this professionally cut it would have worked a lot easier I'm also going to put a coating of this all the way around the bottom this is not to to glue the centerpiece to the bottom that's not going to be that way I'm going to have this so I can take it apart but what I'm going to do is run the sealant around there and then put the gasket piece on top of it hopefully by doing it that way there'll be enough pressure that I can make a seal this is the electronic side you can see the two holders for the 555s on this and I'm getting ready to start the electronics end of it and there's my panel for those of you who thought I was goofing off all this time I've been comparing notes on the Meyer systems and trying to put together a idea of how this is going to proceed so it's time to get back to work I really didn't count on this seal problem this gasket problem there's a good picture of my bench one part of my bench if this problem is going to be solved I'm going to solve it or one of my following followers are going to solve it there's the fan I've got hooked up to cool the or to make these gas liquid gasket dry quicker and we're off and running